going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? This is the Renegade of Wrestling, J.J. Williams. And when I'm not busy inside of the Casa D18 studios, I'm listening to Unlimited Radio 247.net. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special edition of Blue Down Radio, again, only on Unlimited Radio 247.net. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be part three of the Casa D18 Studios interview ser- series. And today we're going to have the one and only Pinky. Now, those of you that have not seen um, Pinky's videos and recent things that's been going on with Pinky, let me just tell you, you are missing out on absolute gold because this woman can definitely bring it. And we're going to, it's going to be a very interesting interview, and it's going to be awesome to really get to know Miss Pinky and so everyone can see what kind of an awesome individual she is as well. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to take a very quick break. As always, we've got to make sure those sponsors are happy. And when we come back, we are going to bring on Casa Day 18 Studios member, Miss Pinky, live on Lowdown Radio. Hello, my internet fans. This is the one and only Stat Boy, and I want you to listen to Unlimited Radio 247.net. It's definitely Stat Boy approved. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lowdown Radio, and please help me welcome the one and only Miss Pinky. How are you, sweetheart? Hey, hey, hey. I'm a tad nervous being real. <laughs> same same for me. Same for me. I, I um, had myself <clears throat> muted the whole time there, so that's why there's a small little pause. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, but you know this has been um, this has been a long time coming, and I'm really looking forward to this today. And it's really going to be cool to be able to interview you today. So thank you very much for taking time out from the studios, and we had a lot of fun last night as well with oh, IWL, yeah. and oh my God, it was so much fun. Definitely, thank you, thank you for having me on your show. This has indeed been a long time in coming. So I, I honestly think I'm still recovering from IWL. <laughs> Absolutely, and I definitely want to definitely discuss that a little bit today as well. But um, first thing I definitely want to mention is obviously for people that don't know you um, outside right. of the studios, they know you as Pinky. But what is Pinky's real full name? Um, Pinky's real full name is, and I love saying my name, and it is Elizabeth Denise Legan. I am the first daughter, granddaughter, niece, child, everything. And all of my female cousins have my middle name, so, yeah, they got that from me. <laughs> <laughs> there was actually a little story behind my middle name. Well, okay, well, um, go ahead and elaborate on that one. Sure. Um, my first name comes from my grandma Liz on my father's side, God rest her soul. Um, according to mom, um, she was the sanest person on my dad's side of the family. Go figure. Anyway, um, my middle name comes from a bet that my mom and my aunt had when they were pregnant together with me and my cousin Carla, who's, I believe, a year and six months younger than I am. Um, whoever had the girl first got the middle name Denise. It just okay. so happens it was me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how how did you, um, obviously, you know, people that know you have seen the videos, know that you absolutely love wrestling, just like myself and Jade and Stat Boy and JJ, of course, but... How did you come into loving wrestling so much? Um, for those who, who those who don't know my story, um, my gammy, my grandma Odessa, God rest her soul, got me kickstarted on wrestling when I was a tender age of five. Wow. So that puts me being in love with wrestling for 32 years. So go figure, I turn 38 next July. Yeah, I just tell my age, I don't care. <laughs> um, she got me started on midget wrestling. <laughs> wow, okay. If anybody remembers Midget Wrestling, hit me up. <laughs> she got me started on Midget Wrestling, then it moved on to Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Okay. And then it finally ended up um, with the then the WWF. Um, I was the only one allowed at her house during wrestling, sitting at her feet in her rocking chair. And I was I was the only one allowed to talk during wrestling. Nobody else could talk. It was just me and her. Um, I fell in love with the business. I fell in love with the characters that were around um, Little Beaver, Little Tokyo, um, I'm just going from, you know, Midget Wrestling to um, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, um, Mount Fuji, Little Fuji, um, Farmer's Daughter, Tina Ferrari, and then on to WWF. Um, yeah, I, I can honestly say I am a wrestling historian fanatic, all that good stuff. 
Okay, okay. And um, what do you what do you like to do for fun when you're outside of the studios? When I'm outside of the studios, not at a show, um, I absolutely love to read. Um, I'm a big anime fanatic. Um, my favorite, my top three favorite anime is Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Fist of the North Star. Yeah, we're going back to the 80s on that one. And Avatar, The Last Airbender. I absolutely love anime. I have no idea how I even got into that. But for me, that's my, you know, Lusa, that's my release from everybody and, every, and everything in the world. So, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, you know, obviously, you know, I I, I know from you know I ch- you know chit chatting outside of the the show and the studios mm-hmm. and everything. I I know you've gone through quite a bit in your life, and I'm proud of who you've become and the, the friend you. I can now call a friend. It's really <laughs> it's really nice to say those words after all these years, and it's really yeah. cool. Absolutely. It's been it's been a long time in coming. Um, I've learned a few things about myself. I am who I am, and there is no gray area with me, as you well know. As anybody who knows me knows that. Oh my God, do I you know that? You can either one. love me or hate me. I don't care. There is no gray area. You, you cannot tell a line with me. It's either one or the other. Pick one and go for it, and I'll respect you for it all. I don't care. Okay. But yeah, okay. I am. I am who I am. I've been through some things recently that would make an ordinary woman just, you know, take her life out, give up. That's one one of many great things about me, where I come from. I don't have that give up attitude. I've been through hell and back, stood at death's door, and apparently heaven's not ready for me and hell is scared I'm going to take over. So <laughs> here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and as a matter of fact, speaking of hell, yeah, I, I bitch like Satan. Tell him, get out the chair, punk. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That that That's really cool, Beth. That That's really, really cool. And that that's one thing I do know about you is you do keep it real. You you don't sugarcoat anything, and that's that's what I really like about you as, as well. And speaking of keeping it real, um, we're going to definitely yeah. get into a very interesting question I would love to hear your yeah. opinion on. Uh-huh. What do you like best about the studios and why? Um, what do I like best about the studios and why? Um, I have been wanting to get in, involved in something more than just myself. I started my own YouTube show in the pink July of this year, you know, just just because I saw the renegade J.J. Williams and Jeff Meacham do their thing, and I did I did my research before I started anything to see if there were any females out there, you know, covering wrestling or even giving their thoughts. None. So I said, hey, if the boys can do it, why can't I? So I did. Um, one of the many great things I love about Casa de 18 Studios that allowed me to merge my own show with with people that I love, honor, and totally respect. Um, Renegade J.J. Williams is one of my closest friends Miss um, Jade Hogan She's a mirror ir- image of me Which scares me sometimes <laughs> Stat Boy I can bounce ideas off of his head We come up with stats together You know, I quiz him on things at the drop of a hat But um, definitely That's one of the many great things I love about Casa AT Studios Everybody bounces ideas off of everybody else's head It's not just one person you know, talking And everyone else listening you get to have your voice, your opinion. It may not always be right, and we don't always agree. So listeners, don't think that we agree on everything. No, we don't. <laughs> there are four to five different personalities all trying to get their voices out there. But there's a wonderful thing called coming to a common ground that we always seem to do. So definitely, that's one of the many great things I love about it. Right, right. And for those of you that that want to call in and speak to Miss Pinky this afternoon, feel free to call us at area code two one three five five nine eight zero five four. I know we've got a lot of callers listening in from Chicago. Eh. My hometown. And, What's up, Chi Town? How you doing, baby? <laughs> that's 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 my that's where I'm from. Go Bears. Damn. Town. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're gonna get into that in just a second too. Because those of you that those of you that do not know, Miss Pinky lost a bet with me. Damn, and I did. we're we're gonna get into this little bet here in just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I did. But yes, she is a woman did, of the word. I was word. woman enough to live up to it. So there you go. That's right. That's right. You sure were. And um, 
what I want to also ask you is obviously you co-host the show with um with Miss Jade and what what is it like to work with such a wild and crazy individual like Jade? Um I honestly think first of all I love you Jade, how you doing? Um first of all, she wasn't wild and crazy before I met her. <laughs> she was more reserved, laid back. You know, she had to literally be drug out of her shell. She's like, I don't want to go, and you can't make me. Well, I can't say I made her, but I made it fun for her to want to come out of her shell. Now she's talking. She has her own little, you know, cutesy thing she does. Thank God I'm not just the only one running my mouth. I absolutely love it. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times me and her do not get along. Yeah, it, it happens sometimes like that. But when it comes to show time, we generally want to put out the best product that we can. Seeing as how we're pretty much the only females on the net doing this that I've done my research on, why can't we? It is an honor and a total privilege to work with her, to work with somebody who, you know, had to be drug out of her show and not necessarily drug out but made it fun to want to come out. You know what I mean? It's it, it can be boring when someone is running their mouth and, oh, my God, I have to do homework. I don't want to. I'm making fun for her to do homework because I do it too. She's not the only one taking notes and, you know, doing research. I am too. But it's so much fun for both of us to do so and to be able to put out a great product for our fans and even our haters. Right, right. You know, and that's one thing I've I've realized too is that, Unfortunately, you guys got a lot of haters too, and mm-hmm. I've seen some of the some of the replies and mm-hmm. stupid stupid derogatory comments, and mm-hmm. you know it, it it really bothers me to see you know jackass guys out there you know saying those kind of rude comments to such wonderful people like you and Jade both, and it it, it really bothers me because you're a very good friend, and obviously Jade is a sweetheart, and you know I, I I really it really bothers me to to hear that kind of stuff, you know, and, you know, it, it, obviously there's haters everywhere and obviously, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to have those kind of issues and, you know, it, it's something that unfortunately is good and bad in a way. It's bad obviously right. because you're getting the harassment by these people, but right. good in a way because you're still getting paid. <laughs> exactly. I'll put it to you like this from us, at Casa D18 Studios, specifically Chicks on Wrestling, specifically Miss Jade Hogan, Miss Pinky, to all of our haters, thank you for hating on us. Apparently, y'all ain't got nothing to do better with your time than to hate on two females who love this business inside and out and want to do the best job that we can, in, if not better than what the boys do. So thank you to all <clears throat> of our haters. Thank you to those who give your derogatory comments. You are not the ones sit in front of a camera each and every week, putting your faces, your voices, your ideas, and your problems sometimes on the air for the world to see and hear. So for those of you who hate on us, thank you very much. And for those of you who ain't got nothing to hate on, feel free to hate on me. You know I'm beautiful and you're not. Uh Uh-huh. But I'm still getting paid. So, uh uh-huh. I'm still getting paid. Hate on me all the way to the flipping bank. Thank you very much, my haters. Oh goodness gracious! I, I don't know about you, Miss Pinky. <laughs> hey, nobody does, baby. Nobody does. And for those of you who think you know me, <laughs> wait till this interview's over. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let let let's just say, oh my god. That's all I can say. That's a good way to explain Pinky. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. That's Cause... that's that's what I usually get. And it, excuse my family for the four-letter word I'm about to use. is usually, oh, my God, and damn, this woman ain't right. Yeah. It, yeah. I can live uh, with that. Speaking of ain't right, I'm Uh-oh. not to put you on the spot. Oh, crap. But right you, and, you and I had a very fun evening not that long ago at Knox Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Now, for for those of the listeners that do not know what we're talking about, some of them I know that are that do know, but some of you do not know. <laughs> we had the honor of being able to see the reunion of Too Cool from the eighties, uh-huh. and we had Mr. Rikishi, we had um, Scotty Too Hottie, and Brian Christopher all together for one night, and yes. 
it was really, really a fun night. And Miss Pinky, let's just say, <laughs> had fun dancing in the <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know what my um, host is talking about, one of my many dreams in this professional wrestling business has come true. I not only got to see the reuniting of Too Cool, including Rikishi, Scotty, and Grandmaster. What's up, guys? I got to live out a dream. I got to dance in the ring with Too Cool, and it's on video on YouTube. I think I might have made some boys grow up in puberty overnight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was if I definitely help, crazy. I'm good. <laughs> it definitely yeah. was crazy, but it was it was an awesome night and it was a lot of fun and yes, obviously it I, was. I wish the crew could have um come out yeah. and of Yeah, uh, I I miss my I miss my Jade and JJ being there cuz Jade would have fell out laughing in her chair and JJ would have just been like holy crap. <laughs> right, right. Oh yeah, and by the way, boss man, I heard your comment on video as I was walking, you know, you know, watching back as I was walking into the ring. You were just like, "Oh my God, this is not planned." I had no idea the session. <laughs> I heard that this is not. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the Knox Pro Black Pearl Gang Grail was up, my babies. To to Rikishi, Scotty. Brian Christopher, thank you all so much for making one of my dreams a possibility and also making my return to Knox Row a definitely memorable one. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to call in and speak to Miss Pinky this afternoon, feel free to again call us at 213-559-8054. Just make Please sure you do. Press- I love questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she definitely does. She loves to talk. That's definitely true. And make- <laughs> And make the sure only you guys- time I'm ever able to shut up is when I'm sleeping, and even then. <laughs> right. And make sure you press 1 to make sure I know you guys want to get connected to Miss Pinky as well, and then we'll definitely get you on the show if we can, if time remains. Um, but um, obviously, you know, a little bit ago, um, you and I were chit-chatting, and we were talking about a very heated topic that mm-hmm. recently happened on Twitter. And, mm-hmm. you know, it was... Yeah, this is this is where it really hits hard for me because me being raised in the Midwest, unfortunately, mm-hmm. there's still a lot of very bad racial things happening in the Midwest, and yeah, I'm I'm not proud to say this, but my father even tried to raise me as being a racist kind of person. Wow, and calling African American men Leroy's, for example. And that's that, my that, daddy's name, but that's not everybody's name. <laughs> right. Wow. Um, and, and, that, and that really pissed pissed me off when I heard about all this was happening. But you and um, Stab Boy did a rant video together where yes. you guys really got deep down into that topic. Can Can you kind of elaborate a little bit about that? And um, well. Uh, first of all, my family who watched it, I'm, I would I would say I'm sorry for the words that came out of my mouth, but I'm not lying. But I spoke the truth. I probably no, no, no. I can't even say it another way than what I said. Um, for those of you who don't know, there was a Twitter war this past Sunday um, because our president Barack Obama um, interrupted Sunday Night Football at five o'clock to what I felt give words of encouragement, solace, and comfort to the families of those 26 little ones who got their life snuffed out because somebody even tripped out. Um. I had to listen to the renegade read off about 20 to 25 tweets calling our president, and I'm not going to say this word on the air, but calling our president the N-word, get this in off my TV, I want football. I don't want to see Barack Obama um, on the air, I want my football, F him and his fugly ass kids. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what? Excuse you? Uh okay, and then it got it got worse. It's it was all about summing it up. It was all about the football game, as opposed to our president, who is doing his job, who's doing his damnness to bring comfort and solace to those families he can't be there for at that moment. Um, I got so angry, I was so heartbroken. Granted, I love my football. Go Bears! Woo! 
I love my football, and much like Sean, I am from the wonderful Windy City. I am a Second City Saint. I am from Chicago, Illinois, where our president represented the Senate seat at, too. Let's just throw that out there. I was so heartbroken. It brought me to tears, and then it made me mad. I um, talked to Stat Boy, and he basically said, let's go for it. He's never had anyone else on his Stat Boy rant because, number one, he refused to say the following that I did. <laughs> but, two, it was it was a release for me to say what I needed to say. I felt so disgusted to those racist jerks who had anything to say about our president, my president, who was doing his job to bring comfort and solace to those families, and these idiotic dingbats are still stuck on Patriot football. Forget you and your football. 26 lives were snuffed out, including the shooter, and I can care less about him. You feel what I'm saying, Sean? Absolutely. 26 babies are gone. Little lives have been snuffed out because somebody been tripped out. You better believe I have something to say on it. I ran it for a good five minutes. And that was just on the air. Let's just keep that 1,000 because I went off the entire day. I was so mad, so heartbroken. And I even called out two of the two of the tweets on the air. And I actually, I actually tweeted both of those ding-dongs. I said my piece, and I'm done with it. But how dare anybody have anything negative to say about our president, be it his skin color, be it the fact that he's interrupting your football, which was shown on a sister network on NBC uh, Sports somewhere. Use the TV guy, you dingbats. You might have found it because other people watched the first quarter. And a quarter of football, Sean, as you well know, is how long? Fifteen freaking minutes. You couldn't wait 15 freaking minutes for the president to talk and then go back to your football, which was already playing on another station? Y'all done lost your minds. Now, that's all I'm going to say on that because I'm going to go off. (laughs) Okay, okay. Well, I tell you what, you might want to... You might want to hold on just a second because we actually do have a caller that did call in. Really? Yes, we do. We got a caller oh, here from area code five six two five five two. Caller, you're live with Miss Pinky. Hello, my internet fans. Hi. <laughs> you could not have tried that. You couldn't have planned it any better. Anyway, what's up? This is the staff boy calling in real quick. What's I'm on a break from baby? work. What's going I, on? What's up? What's up? Let me just let me just agree. And uh, whatever uh, Sean and Miss Pink are saying about this stuff, you know, yeah, everything everything Miss Pinky is saying about what happened in Connecticut was true. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were very upset about that, and uh, indeed, like say, she, we 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 had to do this thing. I mean, this was I just agree. Way way too touchy of a situation. I mean, way too that, personal. That's why, I, that's why I did the show, and that's why I. I asked Pinky to come on my show that for that for that one reason. I mean, she and she thank you for having me show. on there, Stat Boy. You're hey, awesome. Any, any, anytime, anytime. And like I said, uh, I, I, you couldn't have timed that any better, Sean. So good for you on that one. Um, Woo! I only got I only got a, I only got a couple, few more seconds. I got to go back to work. Let me just quickly also say, uh, I want to if I may send a quick sure. uh, message out to uh, Sam Knight, your best friend there. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. He's got to get back with his brother Sean Black during the holidays. Okay. I mean, come on! This, this little feud that these two are having, uh, and yes, I'm I'm giving you a mini rant right now. I'm sorry for taking up your time, but you know, Sam and Sean, you two are brothers, okay? You don't be treating your brothers like that, especially around the holidays. All right? Come on now, make, make friends, make nice. Let this SoCal wrestling war end during the holidays, and then start off two thirteen with a bang, and then beat each other up again. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Time, okay? <laughs> Well, well, see, here, here's the only problem with that stat boy is he ran like a little bitch that he is, and uh-huh. well, mm. he decided oh, he wanted to up and fail. Oh. And you know, th- I, I have nothing more to say on that topic. He, he turned his back <laughs> on not only I mean, me yeah. but the rest of his fans that are out here. All hey. what? Oh, all what? Man. Maybe I mean, four I mean, or five I mean, that he I'm has. Partially, I'm partially involved in this because I remember at, at a battle down show I, I was helping. Uh, Sean and then Sam decided to come out and, and cheap shot him through the through the curtain. That wasn't pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> another, couple steps, another couple of steps, he would have bulldozed right through me. 
and then there would have really been a problem. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you better watch what you say about him there because, you know, he he will come back and he will put a hurt on somebody. Uh-oh. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, I, it's okay. I got, I got my, we got my backup plan. We, we already got okay. all that squared, so. Now, I gotta go. I, I I gotta take off. I gotta go back to work. So you know, have a great rest of the show. Uh, Thank you. Radio fan, don't you worry. My interview is coming soon. I promise you that. Okay. I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. Step away. Out. Much love, baby. There you go. There you go. Well, Miss Pinky, we looks like we do have another caller that decided. Wow. To <laughs> and oh God, I think I know who this is. Wait, come on. Give me what I want. Area code three two three six one four. Pretty good timing, isn't it, huh? Hi. What the hell Hi. do you want? Hi. So, I just happened to listen to the show just because I just wanted to hear the show. I, you know, I Hi. wasn't gonna call in. Hi, hey sweetheart. I wasn't gonna hey, call baby. in. I was just gonna listen to the show. You know, enjoy my day. You know. Mm-hmm. And then I hear you call me out my name. He did. <laughs> Sean, you just get you don't get, get you don't you don't get it, man. Life is bigger than the few that you and I. It seems like there's an issue with you and I. Uh-oh. Maybe you need to get some things off your chest to me. Maybe. Uh-oh. I, I, are are you are you mad? Are you upset with me? Did I do something wrong? Did I upset you in some kind of way? Was me driving out of California hurtful to you? Was me <laughs> going to pursue my career somewhere else other than? Los Angeles, hurtful and painful for you to see. Hat. Actually, <laughs> no, tr- uh, truth on, be told. Go so, ahead, so Sean. No, truth, truth be told, I'm, I'm kind of glad that you up and left because mm-hmm. I, I'm kind of glad because you know what? I realized I didn't need you. Oh. I realized that you, you weren't a friend that you claimed that you were. Oh. And – you just wanted to up and bail, and you did what you had to do. You thought of yourself, and you made a good point. You thought of yourself. Yeah, but I thought friends were friends to the end, not just you know, somebody that was thinking of being selfish. You know, and, you know, thing, you know speak, thing, speaking of this, I'll tell you what. This is what I want to do for you. You know what? You want an opportunity to say your side, and you know what? I, I want an opportunity to say mine. So I'll tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to invite you on my show this Monday, this Uh-oh. Monday, 6 p.m., and I want you – to not be a little crying little whiny little bitch that you are, and I want you to go on my show, and, and I, I want you to say what you want to say, and I want you to go ahead and say say what you got to say about this topic, because you know what? I would love to hear what Mr. quote-unquote right hand of God has to say. Sean, how, how about this? How about we make it better? Because I am not going to ruin my Christmas Eve talking to a nitwit like you. Uh, on your radio show, but let's do let's make it something let's make it something better. You see, because seeing as I already have plans with my family Christmas Eve, you know my family. Yeah. Um, let's make it Christmas Day. Let's do that. Let's oh. give the world a Christmas gift, shall we? You know, let's 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 air out our dirty laundry over the radio waves. Let's tell oh, the world damn. how much of a how much of a suck up you are. Oh, how many up. butts you had? How much? How many butts you had to kiss to get to where you are today? You want to go there, kid? You want to say how you forgot about how how I forgot about you and I was selfish? <laughs> get it out your system, Sean. Oh, you got a deal. Christmas you got a 2012. Deal. You and I, we get it out our system because after I'm done making you look a fool bigger than what you already look, I'm gonna go on to beat up the kid that you supposedly have taken under your wing and make him look like the asshole he is. Get sounds like that, that sounds you know, good me, to me, bro. That, that sounds me, good to me, man. Me calling in today wasn't supposed to be a rant and an argument between the two of us. No, 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 no. I have better things to do with my time. I only called in because I heard my name. I heard me be disrespected, and that was wrong of you. That's not a man. It's a boy. Oh. Yeah. You're a boy. A boy yeah. trying to be a man. Sean, grow up. Grow a set. And the next time I'm in L.A., say it to my face instead of saying it over the radio waves. Pinky, you be good. Have a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas, you a great, too. A great New Year. Sean, I'm looking forward to Tuesday. Oh, damn. Oh, whatever. Must you piss off one of my favorite wrestlers on my show, really? Yeah, well, well. Yeah, well. What? I, last, uh. I, last I knew, he didn't know how to wrestle. 
Let, last oh, night, too. Oh, that, last oh, night, too. Oh, oh. He, let, oh, let me, let me oh, ask. No, you didn't. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me just say this. What belts what? does he have around his waist? What belt does Sean Black have around his waist either? He is the N- he is the NGW Television Champion. And that has anything to do with. And if I'm not mistaken, was stripped off of Sean uh, off of Sam Knight's waist. So. Yeah, he didn't lose it. It was stripped. So get that right. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Let's talk about my thing. Anyway. Yes. Back. Uh, we have yeah, another yeah, caller yeah. here. Um, caller what from the area two five two two six eight. Call it your live, Miss Pinky. What's going on? This is Corey from the East Coast. How you doing, Pinky? How you hey, doing, Hey, Corey. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just calling in, trying to keep a promise to myself. We got all these fine folks from the Cup 18 calling and hanging out with Sean. So I was trying to get a chance to say hey to everybody because I enjoyed the shows. And I feel like a little Aww. bit of a dunce because I didn't get a chance to call Miss Jade when she was on. So I have to apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, just like I said, I want to call in and say, uh, like I said, enjoy the shows, listening to you and Jay when y'all go through your reviews and post shows and all that sort of stuff. But I was going to ask, I was going to ask one thing. Uh huh. So, um, <laughs> and I, I'm going to ask, if, if, go ahead. if I ever, <laughs> if I ever had a chance to, uh, do a, comment or review or anything, would I be welcome to put my two cents in on your show if I ever got a chance to? Oh, my, I, I don't see why not. The more the merrier. <laughs> I yeah, do well, not see why not. Thank you. You're welcome. The only reason I ask this is, like I said, you and Jay, every time I watch y'all's shows, I get a, get a huge smile on my face because it's refreshing <laughs> just to hear y'all's points of view off, on the show and <laughs> your opinions. It just I, really, it brings a highlight to my day every time I watch. I just like to, oh, I to say thank, thank you for that. you. Thank you. We we try to put out the best product that we can um, for Chicks on Wrestling, um, just for you, our fans, and even our haters, but definitely our fans, most of all. So thank you so much for well, thinking you, enough of us. Much appreciated. Well, you definitely got a fan here, so there's, oh, thank there's no you. doubt I'll back you guys up anytime. Uh, I'm a fan of yours, too, boo. Don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, thank Corey, you. I gotta, I got to ask you. Um, yes. it, for the you, you've been following the the chicks chicks and wrestling show, and um, I want to ask you, what do you think of Miss Jade's um, dimple double check that she does? <laughs> the dimple double check, you know, every time I see it, like I said, it just brings a smile on my face, and I have to laugh. But <laughs> at the same time, every time I see her do it, and this is just a personal note for me, I can see my middle daughter doing the same thing. She would try to make it her own by adding the word silly goose at the end. <laughs> <laughs> she would, my daughter would, she'd be like, she would say her her, her name. She goes, I'm ah, Maggie, silly goose, right at the end. So like I said, it brings <laughs> the father face. I could see my middle daughter just, if she ever gets a chance to see it, keeping it as hers and making her twist on it. So oh, like I said, cute. it always brings a smile on my face on that. <laughs> how so cute! I, it's, like I said, it brings a smile to my day because, like I said, it's refreshing to, to hear somebody's points of views. All that, especially, especially two that enjoy and love the, what they do, and being able to see wrestling and give their take on it. So, thank yeah. you so much. Hey, well, you're welcome. I appreciate you being a good, good friend of me, man. You, you've been there every step of the way, and I, I can't thank you enough. And we're we're blessed with awesome people like, like um, Pinky and Statboy and JJ and of course Jade. You know, it, it, we're we're blessed with wonderful folks, and um, I can't forget I, I can't forget Summer as well. You know, with all the blogs that she does, things are really happening for us. And but I, I definitely don't want to take any more time away from Miss Pinky, but. Um, thank course. you very much for calling in, Corey. Thank and, uh, you, and happy holidays hey, to welcome. you and your family. Same to you, and enjoy it as much as you can. Have you some eggnog and Christmas cookies while you're at Oh, it. yes, I'm having eggnog tonight. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you folks enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you later. All right, you too. Well, there you go, Miss Pinky. You had a bunch of callers <laughs> in the day. Wow. I'm, I, I think I'm kind of impressed with it. I'm blushing over here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you, you are a sweetheart, and you only deserve the best, like I said. And Thank you. It, it, I, I, again, it, it's just such an honor to be able to have you on my show. And um, it, it, 
I, I still can't believe this is happening. You know, my, my jaw still hasn't picked up yet. <laughs> it, it, it's really, really for, cool. I thank you for thanking of me enough to have me on your show. I appreciate it so much. Well, that that brings me to a a, a point, and mm-hmm. some people that do know us might mm. understand the question. Some people may not. Okay. But when you first found out that I approached JJ, which is obviously the head of Casa de 18, about yes, yes. merger with my company and your company, be totally honest and without holding back like Pinky does, <laughs> what was your honest opinion about it and why? Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, that just made me blush from head to toe. (laughs) (laughs) You just put me on the spot, but since you asked for it, you're gonna get it. Uh Uh-oh. For those of you who don't know, uh, Sean and I had some history a few years back. Um, things didn't work out well between us, uh, I feel in my opinion, and he can back me up or not. He did me dirty, and I wanted nothing to do with him at all, period, point blank. And the last time I saw him before he approached um, J.J., you know, head honcho of Costa 18, uh, <laughs> I stared daggers at him. I wanted to just beat the brakes off of him. I did. I did. But um, in the days after um, – Sean talked to JJ. Um, JJ approached me about it. He he at least waited a couple of days because <laughs> he knew I was not a happy capper after seeing you at a battleground show that I was working at. Um, I believe I stared daggers, uh, yeah, 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 laser pointers, and if I had a freaking cannon with with fire hot balls, or better yet, a hot volcano. <laughs> To shoot at you, I would have. But um, days following after that, um, JJ and I had a long, extensive talk behind this, and he gave me some words of advice. Um, This isn't about me. This is about our channel doing something great for the world, great for us, great for his website, great for the world in general, because there's nobody quite out there like Casa de 18 Studios those who imitate it, it's never duplicated. You can't be us. So, um, I had to think, and, and yes, I'm a, I'm a strong believer in prayer and religion. I come from, you know, Christian household. I I had to pray. I literally pray long and hard about even talking to Sean, even dealing with Sean in a business aspect. Um, JJ said he wants to apologize. I said, uh, excuse me, uh, no, I want nothing to do with him. Can I please just forget he ever existed and go about my merry little way? But on the flip side of that, I am in the process of revamping myself. I am 37, I turned 38 in July, and I'm just realizing some things about myself. I am not, I don't want to be the same psychotic, um, crazy pinky that everybody knew from 2006 PWG was up <laughs> to now. I have been through some things in my life, and it made me grow up a lot. Um, I had to come to a conclusion. If I want my life to be better in all aspects, I have to learn how to forgive and wholeheartedly forgive, not half ass. You know what I mean? I don't have step in anything. Once I start something, I finish it, I see it through to its completion. I needed to know for myself if I could forgive Sean and wholeheartedly forgive Sean and attempt to move on from that and not bring that up, you know, because I was a very vengeful person. There have been people in my life that have done some really messed up things to me. I haven't haven't forgiven all of them because I didn't see a point because I was living my life and I felt they hurt me. There is no way... And God's green earth, you're going to get a chance to get this close to me to hurt me again. Well, um, after some extensive praying, (laughs) I got the answer that I needed. Forgive and move on. You are a new person. You're not the same person that everybody knew then. You are a different person. You have a different look to you. You have a different spirit. You have a different attitude. Why not try? If I didn't try. I would feel horrible about myself 
feel what I'm saying? It would be like you approached me, and I just slapped you in the face and turned away. I am no longer that person who who does that anymore. I might I might now. Don't get me wrong. I might knock the bejesus out of you, but I'm not gonna turn my back on you. So, um, my thoughts on that. I had to forgive and I had to move on. And honestly, since I did that, I forgave myself for being so angry. I forgave myself for feeling the way that I felt. Not to discount my feelings, you know, because of you or because of my my channel, my family. I forgave myself because I was in such rage because I felt the injustice that was done to me had to have had, you know, some effect on my relationships after it, be it, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or just friends. You know what I'm saying? So I needed I needed that to move on. And since I did, this is what it's all blossomed out to. Everything good has come out of this. There have, there may have been some bumps in the road, some, you know, stops, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to take two steps back to go a big step forward. So there it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Miss Miss Pinky here was very kind when she explained how she felt about me. Truth be told, uh-huh. I was a I was a complete dickhead. And uh-huh. for Pinky to give me an opportunity to become friends again, and I I think now I can speak for both of us. It's a pretty uh-huh. strong friendship now at this it point. Is. And um she is absolutely an amazing woman, and I, I really drew, I, I consider her the sister I never had Thank because you so much. she she has really grown up and she's become a woman and someone that I realized that I really screwed over. And for those those of you guys that are out there that are screwing over your ladies that are you know pissing them off. Grow the fuck up, grow a set of nuts, and admit your mistakes before you lose them and you never get them back. I, le- I was lucky enough to get my get one of my one of my really good friends back. I'm not everybody's that lucky. Not everybody so, wants to give them that shot. So yeah, that's you're right. right. So thank thank you for everything. Because of that, I have good friends now with JJ and Mike, and obviously with Jade. And I, I'm I'm a very blessed man. And I'm proud to call you my friend, and I'm proud of the fact that you and I both have overcome those hurdles. I appreciate it, and I, I don't I don't know if I should say you're welcome, but uh, <laughs> I, I mean I'm, I'm being honest because it, sure. took, it took a lot for me to get to this point. So I don't know if I can say you're welcome. You, you don't need to I'll say just, anything. Okay, then I won't say a thing. You know how I feel. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. that <laughs> now can we good. please go to what my favorite wrestler is? Who my favorite wrestler is? <laughs> Good point, but I got a little twist to that. Oh, crap. Who is your favorite all-time wrestler Mm -hmm. other than Mm -hmm. Undertaker? Damn it. AJ Styles? Damn it. James Storm? Oh, come on. Or Jeff Hardy? You are not right. You just named out. Forget you. Forget what you're going through. You just oh, you suck. You're welcome. Uh, favorite. Uh, besides them, because you already know who I'm going for number one. Okay, I will give you one. Marty Janetti. I'm sorry. Marty Janetti. Marty Janetti. Uh, That's one half of the Rockers. One half of the New Rockers. One half of the Midnight Rockers. Um, yeah. He's one of the coolest people I know. Um, Goober, uh, I'm sorry, I just called I just called Marty my nickname. My nickname for Marty Genetic is Goober. Goober, if you're listening, hey, baby, how you doing? Um, I honestly think Marty Genetti is one of the most underrated wrestlers of all time. Fantastic to work, you know, to see work in the ring. Fantastic friend of mine. Um, I absolutely adore him. Um, last time I saw Marty was 2008. At um, Empire Wrestling Federation EWF, and the um, the DVD that he is on is called Rock of Ages. I loved seeing him. That was the first time I had ever met him, and we just became really, really tight. So yeah, Marty Janetti, and my favorite wrestler of all time <clears throat> is the guy that's tattooed on the back of my neck. The only man whose name I have on me. The Hurricane. The Undertaker. Correct. <laughs> 
The Undertaker, yeah. Undertaker's yeah. phenomenal, and and her tattoo is pretty amazing. It's it's really cool tattoo, I must say. It, it's really really. Forty five awesome. minutes, and I didn't cry. I whimpered. <laughs> I whimpered because the the top part of the tattoo goes, like, to the nerves of my neck, and I kind of flinched and whimpered, and the tattoo artist said, okay, sweetheart, well, what do you want to watch? I said, Robot Chicken. So I watched Robot Chicken, fell out laughing as I spent 45 minutes and 180 bucks to get my Undertaker tattoo I've been wanting since I was 13. Yeah, that's that's my only baby daddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only one. Until, you know, such time things change in my personal life. But, yeah, that's my only one. So, yeah. Take there it. you go. Okay. And I'm we, we got just about probably about another ten more minutes here, but we're going we're gonna to do something fun now. We're going to kind of just do a little bit of fun stuff. We're going to do a word association. Uh-oh. So I'm going to say a name. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Lita. Who? Lita. Lita. Underrated. Okay, okay. Matt Hardy. Overrated. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Pro Wrestling Massive. Hey, now. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Go. Okay. <laughs> Mr. J.J. Williams. Oh, my. <laughs> Um, my best friend. That's a good one. That's really good. How about Miss Eve? Hosky of the Millennium. Why? She come on, come on now, Sean. She didn't kiss everybody. She got everybody. great assets. She got great assets. Bless her for it. But she got a butter face. Is everything but her face? That's whatever. Hosky of the Millennium. Next. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this is one that. You you'll know instantly because of last evening, Mister mm-hmm. Mister Drake Younger. Oh my God, Golden Boy! Hey now, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that boy is amazing. <laughs> Drake Younger is amazing. Yes, he is. Yeah, Drake Younger brought it last night. Oh my God, he and for those it. who have oh not God. seen it, and if you, I, I don't Woo! know if you can find it on on their website, I think it's iwl dot com. I, I do so. believe you can order the iPay-Per-View and still watch it there, but it wow. was absolutely amazing. What a Drake freaking Drake Younger match versus Ray Rosas brought the house down. Yeah, absolutely. Had us all standing and cheering. I lost my voice. Yeah, cinder blocks and trash cans and kickouts and two counts and what the, whoa. Yes. Absolutely. That match brought the house down. Yes, it did. Okay, here's another one. Mhm. Honey Jack. Hey, Honey Jack is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Honey Jack and Coke. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, okay. And how about Mr. Stat Boy? Oh, sweetheart. Sweetheart. That's yeah. a good one. Okay. How about Miss Miss Jade Hogan? Mirror image. Mirror image. Okay, I I can yes. see that. I can yes. see that. I see a lot of myself in her when I was her age, and it scares me because <laughs> I thought I was absolutely normal at thirty one. Eh, eh. That was crazy. I see that in her. Love you, boo boo. But yeah, mirror image. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I get on her case so much because I want to save her. And help her not to go through the hurdles and emotional breakdowns and the torment I went through. So yeah, Mary Image, yeah. That. <laughs> and I got two more two more individuals here for you. All right. Marcus Riot. The homie. What's up, Riot? The homie. The homie. Okay. And myself. Uh, you I. You I. I'm I. You know, I, it, it took it took a long time, three plus years for us to even get to this point that we are able to speak, and and the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, I say I right, because yeah, I, you all right, my book, homie, you all right. Awesome. 
Well, thank you very much, Miss Pinky. I really appreciate everything. Obviously, I know you got a lot of things you need to do this afternoon, Christmas thank shopping. Thank you so much for having me. And stuff like that. Yeah. Um, now, also, but one thing I would like to know from you, obviously, mm-hmm. with the New Year's coming up, and that is, um, what is your New Year's resolution this year? Um, I try not to have those, but if I do have one, which I find myself having, is to be better than I was last year. Okay, okay. Now, are you talking better as far as attitude? um, Attitude, personality, better in shape, because I want to get back down to my hourglass, pow, 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 bam, you know, shape with flat stomach. I want to be better to the people that I love. I want to be better to my special someone. I want to be better to myself. All in conferences, I want to be better in 2013 than I was in 2012. Okay, okay. And where where can um, the people listening in catch up with you? Where where can they keep track of um, chicks chicks and um, chicks on wrestling? And where where can they find you on Facebook and Twitter? Okay, um, for um, for those of you who don't know, you can find me definitely on Unlimited Radio 24/7 net. You can also find me co-hosting Chicks on Wrestling, uh, as well as my show In the Pink on YouTube.com backslash Renegade Wrestling. In the Pink is my show, my thought process for my sick, twisted mind. Help us all. And for those of you who tweet and Facebook, you can tweet me at Miss Pinky, M as in Mary, I-S-S-P-I-N as in Nancy, K-Y, 1975 at Twitter. And you can also Facebook me at two my Facebook pages. Um, my first one is Bethany Sage Leggin, and my second one is Pinky Sage Eileen um, at Facebook. So you can find me. You you can't miss me. Everybody knows my face. You should be able to find me. So you can find me at those four. And as always, I welcome comments, questions. As long as you keep it respectful, I will be respectful to you. Don't piss her off. Please yeah. don't piss her off. Yeah, poking the bear is a bad idea. Well, you, um, <laughs> I, I can say I truly poked the bear, and I'm sorry about that little bet that you lost. But that's okay. That's okay. I was woman enough to, to live up to my bet. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not know, the bet about three weeks ago was if my bears lost, I was to wear a Green Bay Packers jersey and hat or the cheese hat. And if my Bears won, Sean Close was to wear a Bears jersey. <laughs> As fate would have it, <gasps> my Bears lost in horrible fashion at Soldier Field. Jay Cutler, I could just kick you in the face for that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. The oh. crowd was cheering that the Bears lost. Sorry. Yeah, shut up. No, I actually. <laughs> but that's okay. I do not. I, I have a picture on my computer somewhere with me and my. Packers jersey and hat. I was not a happy camper. But yes, I did live up to my bet. I wore the shirt on my show. <laughs> Damn you, Jay Cutler. I hate you. <laughs> you made me lose a bet, you jerk. If anybody in out in the Midwest know, once you are born in Chicago, Illinois, and the doctor slaps you behind, you are a Chicago Bear fan for life. You do not wear anything Green Bay. If you walk around in the streets of Chicago with Green Bay, you might get beat up. So, yeah, I probably won't ever, ever post that picture, but no, I'm good. <laughs> my Bears lost, but I was well enough to live up to my bet, even though I didn't have to, but I did. Right. Well, Miss Pinky, again, th- thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and, of course, as of as always now, I, I got you back, and I, I will make up of for course. what was wrong. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for thinking of me enough to have on your show. To my fans, if I have any, I love you all. To my haters, I know I got those. Love you too. Hate on me all the way to the bank. To my family, I love you all. To my Casa de 18 Studios family, you know how I feel about you, babies. You guys are my heart and my soul. Um, to everyone out there, have a great and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, sweetheart. Well, I will chat with you in a little while, okay? No problem. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the one and only Miss Pinky live on Lowdown Radio. As you heard earlier in this show, we're going to bring on the moron, I, I mean Sam Knight, 
on Christmas Christmas morning. And keep checking out the website. We'll post the time and everything for everybody. So make sure you check out that website for that very special episode of Lowdown Radio. Thank you very much for tuning in. We appreciate it. And make sure you check us out Christmas morning. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and have a fantastic Christmas as well. This is Pinky, hostess of In the Pink, co-host of Chicks on Wrestling. When I am not recording, I am listening to the one and only Unlimited Radio 247.net.